This video is going to be on my findings of the Stage 6 throttle assembly, which you can buy right here. I believe you can. I believe that you can buy it in uh, chrome and or black. But I come from the old school where it ain't cool if your chrome don't shine. So it adds a little bit of bling. Now I did not, not know if this was going to work. I was going to throw my money away. I bought the throttle assembly, which came with the uh, throttle cable, and I also bought the turn switch assembly down here. That I thought I'd give it a try and see if it will, will work because I was real concerned about my my turn signal. The turn signals work right and left. This here is a two part. This, this here is a uh, two-part switch, which means that on this switch right here, it's like a high and low beam for your... There, there's a constant... Fucking crow, I'm going to kill that damn thing. There is a uh, constant on where the light is, and there is a wire that goes to your high and your low. And that what this switch can, you, can do right here. This other one right here is your... Use that for your horn, or you could turn use this to turn on the nitrous, and you could use use this or this, which I haven't figured out, to to um, blast it off. Now on the switch, most motocross applications have the barrel up here, but I thought, well, you know, it won't work up here. This is the barrel, right there. That's the barrel. Got some oil on that. As you can see, it's on the bottom. And that's not a problem with me, as long as it works. But the point is about this throttle. Now, if you think about it, and which I didn't, but I've been using a moped 14 millimeter throttle for a 14 millimeter carburetor. Now, as we know, a 14 millimeter is a little bit smaller than this badass K and Sudco PKW setup carburetor. So I asked myself, why am I using a moped throttle on a racing carburetor? Do uh, do racers that are you know have a 250, 350, do they use a moped throttle assembly? No, they don't. So I didn't know if it would work. The point being is that in order for the throttle to work, we have to be able to keep the stock brake assembly, which is connected to the mirror assembly. Now this also does have a mirror uh, attachment, which fits this, this exact style. But you have to have this in the area and drill a bunch of holes and it would be, it would look like a mess. Okay, and that's what I didn't want. What I wanted to do was to get this throttle as close in as I could use the original plastics use being able to use the stock brakes like I'm used to and being able to see out the mirror right there uh, don't look well yeah. anyway just don't get old <clears throat> and what I've done is I w I w I'd like to show you what I've learned about this now with the moped throttle it was a smaller barrel a uh, smaller area right here so when you twisted the throttle, it only pulled the cable so far. Now with these larger carburetors, a lot of times with the, mo the standard moped throttle, it does not open the slide all the way. And I'll point that out. Now I'm going to put one hand right here, and I'm going to turn this. But what I want to show you is this. As we look down the gullet of that beast right there, you can see that the throttle slide is all the way down where it should be. But in order to get full horsepower, we need that throttle all the way up. That slide all the way up out of where you don't see it. Now, the moped throttle only lifted it up maybe 90%. Now watch how far this goes up. Okay, you hear that clicking sound? That clicking sound is something I've never heard before. That is... And you can see how well the throttle works. It's a beautiful throttle. I made it work. I've actually made it work. Maybe somebody else has, but I just don't, don't know. But if you do want to make it work, that's where it works. But that clicking sound is where 
the slide is hitting at the very top of the carburetor body, which is good, which is great. So I've improved my throttle work amazingly enough. The cable works perfect that goes down through here and everything. It, it fits like a charm. Everything in this Stage 6 deal, I bought it out of, um, S, it's called SP Moto out of Montreal, or it's, half the stuff is in French, I don't know what it is. And half the stuff, I 98% I can't understand what it's for. It's either for Minarelli or Vertical or Piaggio. And I don't know what this motor is. I've ordered some wrong parts. But I want to tell you, if you want to keep your stock stuff, that's what it looks like. And all I had to do is, like, I've got, I've got videos on it, but I had to take a Dremel and get this a little bit wider right here. You never notice it. And I've got chrome. I've got uh, a, a larger, your regular stock moped throttle is this is this line wide. Your motocross is, is this wide, which gives you more hand grip. Because remember, these mopeds are made for little Japanese hands. And when you're doing 70 miles an hour, you want to get as much meat as you can hold the hell onto. So that's what's happening right now.